A parliament in crisis mode. The Bundestag has changed its rules to allow decisions to be taken with fewer members present than normal. Those who were there sat at a safe distance from each other. Parliamentary President Wolfgang Schäuble called on deputies to show support for the key workers who are helping to keep the country going. We express thanks and respect to the doctors, care workers and those in the health and security authorities who are being tested to their limits every day. I think we all agree we should include in our thanks those who day after day and in spite of the greater risk of infection they face ensure that people have the supplies they need. In just one day, the Bundestag has green-lighted government plans to take on more debt this year than ever before. The crisis package includes an emergency budget of 156 billion euros, 50 billion to keep small businesses afloat and money for hospitals expecting a wave of coronavirus patients. Finance Minister Olaf Scholz, standing in for Chancellor Merkel, who's at home in self-isolation, acknowledged these are gigantic sums, but he said the country can afford it. Germany's strict rules on government borrowing are suspended for now. We're facing a crisis unprecedented in our post-war history, greater than all those we have faced recently. And it's a challenge to humankind as a whole. There's no script for dealing with the pandemic, said Schultz, but the government will do everything to reduce its impact on the economy. First, we have to ensure that there's a good health care provision for people who are sick from the coronavirus and ensure those treating them are protected. Second, we must protect the livelihoods of people affected by the crisis. Thirdly, we must stabilise our economy and preserve jobs. Despite the unparalleled measures, when it came to the vote, opposition parties rallied behind the government's plan. But no one, inside the Bundestag or elsewhere, can yet be sure if it will work. Uh, more on this from DW financial correspondent to Chelsea Delaney at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Welcome, Chelsea. So big stimulus packages from the US and from Germany. How are investors reacting? Well, investors are certainly uh, relieved to see Germany come out with, with really big, strong, aggressive uh, economic stimulus measures. The vast majority of this uh, bill is going to be uh, about 600 billion euros worth of loans for struggling businesses. There had been some concern uh, coming into this that uh, Germany wouldn't be aggressive enough in, in uh, providing stimulus to the economy, given its history with being really strict on, on balanced budgets. They're basically throwing that out the window and saying they're going to do whatever it takes. Uh, they're also considering at this point a second wave of stimulus uh, in a few months uh, once the economy reopens. But economists say this is not a silver bullet. The economy is still going to contract no matter what because we are in, a, in a, basically a shutdown right now. Okay, uh, stay with us please, Chelsea. I'd like your thoughts on this news from the GFK Consumer Research Institute. Um, they're reporting that the coronavirus pandemic has shattered German consumer confidence as millions suddenly fear for their jobs or face short time working. The GFK's Consumer Climate Index has plunged to its lowest level since the financial crisis. So faced with an uncertain future, consumers are now hoarding cash, which is likely to hit the retail, manufacturing and services sectors. A GFK says they should now prepare for a recession. So Chelsea Delaney in Frankfurt. I suppose that survey results not surprising uh, given the current uh, environment. How are markets reacting? Well, the DAX just opened up here in Frankfurt. It's down a little over 1%. As you said, it's not a surprise that we're seeing a huge drop off in consumer confidence. Even so, it was much steeper than economists had expected. And the survey only uh, took place between March 4th and March 16th. So before uh, the, the shutdowns really began in Germany would suggest more, uh, more contraction going forward. And I think now that we have seen governments take a lot of action, uh, the, the economic measures are the economic damage that this, uh, these shutdowns are causing are, are sort of coming back into the forefront. Here in Germany, the finance ministry is, is predicting a 5% contraction uh, for the German economy this year. And I, I think that's really going to be a key focus for investors right now.
Okay, thank you for that. Uh, Chelsea Delaney at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Now we'll take a look at some more of the latest developments in the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, three months into the outbreak and the global death toll from uh, COVID-19 related illnesses has now passed 21,000. Russia is halting all flights to and from the country from Friday and Moscow's mayor has ordered all shops except grocery stores and pharmacies to close from Saturday. And Russia's also reported its first two deaths from the disease. Iran is banning travel between its cities. The government there fears there could be a second wave of infections.